So I've made three different videos on iPad OS 26, but this is my first video on iOS 26 for the iPhone. Why? Because for me, iOS 26 has been a bit of a hot mess and I just didn't want to dump a video on you when I knew everything would be improved just around the corner. Well, we're turning the corner. Hi, my name is Rich. Today's video is all about iOS 26 Beta 3, meaning this is Apple's third swing at improving the iPhone's new operating system. And I know this has come far enough that I can do a bit of a show and tell. No need to take notes. This video is just a simple overview of a few of the iPhone's new features coming this September with the public release of iOS 26. But to make this a little different from other YouTube videos, I'm going to compare iOS 26 with iOS 18, which is probably what you have on your phone now. And I'm going to lay two iPhones side by side so you can see the differences and decide for yourself if the iPhone's new fancy operating system is better than the current operating system. And by the way, I believe in many instances better is in the eye of the beholder. So today we'll look at new lock screen features, new home screen features, We'll take a quick peek at Control Center and then a few app changes in Photos, Files, and Weather. And you'll get the idea of Apple's design changes by looking at these three apps. Okay, let's get started. You know, the first thing I want to show you is just the new lock screens. So on the left, I have an iPhone 16 Pro Max with iOS 26 on it. And on the right, I have an iPhone 16 Plus running iOS 18. So now we'll just pull down and get to the lock screens. So we've got two lock screens here and they look fairly similar, but there's a little bit of differences in them. So if I tap on the lock screen to customize and tap customize, I do the same thing over here. The first thing you'll notice is that you can customize the lock screen and the home screen from here. In fact, that's the only place you can do it. I'll show you in a minute how in iOS 26, you customize the lock screen from the lock screen, and you customize the home screen from the home screen, which makes a little more sense. But we're going to do the lock screen, so I'm going to tap on lock screen. And here, there's not a lot I can do. I can change the look, and that's remained the same between the two. So nothing has changed there. And you can add widgets and that kind of stuff, and that's what you can do on the lock screen for iOS 18, but you can do a lot more with iOS 26. So to start with, you'll see a little handle here by the 8 o'clock uh, clock. I'm just going to grab that and now you can make the clock a lot bigger if you want to. And if you'll notice, the widgets kind of slid down to the bottom and you can leave them there. Over here, the widgets stay up at the top. Of course, if you want them back, you can actually move the widgets back up that way. And you can, you know, make the clock as big as you want and that's a cool feature. You can also tap right here on this little icon and it'll now turn it into kind of a 3D image. So if you can tell as I move it, it's like the mountains in the background are, are kind of sliding around behind the lettering and you can see that. And that option doesn't exist on iOS 18. I actually like the larger clock like that. Looks a little bit different. I kind of like that. I like the 3D effect that you have over there. If you tap on the three little ellipses, you can make sure you've got the depth effect. And that way, if you have something up here behind the clock, you can do that. You can also do that over here on iOS 18, but here the little three ellipses does the depth effect in the show photo library. If you want to get into the photo library over here, you just tap on the photo like that, and then you can dive into the photo library to choose a different uh, wallpaper for your lock screen. But that's just a quick look at the differences between the two as far as the lock screen goes. Now let's take a look at the home screen differences. So again, you have the home screen on iOS 18 here and iOS 26 over here. If we tap and hold, and we tap and hold, we both get edit buttons up here. You'll notice they look a little bit different. This is sort of the liquid glass look over here on the iOS 26 phone. Here on the iOS 18, you just kind of have a gray background behind the button. But if you tap on edit, you'll see you get some options here. You can add a widget, you can customize, or you can edit pages. Here, you can add a widget, customize, or edit the wallpaper, or edit pages. 
So if we tap on Edit Wallpaper, here is where you change the wallpaper and you can add the blur effect if you want that in. You can change the color of it if you want. You can go to a different photo if you want to do that. Or you can go back to what you had. And that's where you edit the home screen with iOS 26 on the home screen, which to me sort of makes sense. I think that was a good change for Apple to do that. Also, if you tap and hold and go to edit, you can add widgets and that is pretty much the same. If you notice, you can just add widgets and you know, no difference there. Again, if you edit and you want to edit pages, you can do that very same thing. So nothing has really changed there. And if you go to edit and customize, here you'll notice a little bit different the look to it. You can see, you can change the things here. You do have a new option for clear icons. You don't have that over here. If I tap on clear, you get a totally different look. So if you want that look for your iPhone, you can do it. You have no option to do that over here. This look is something that I didn't like in the beginning, but it's kind of growing on me. So we'll see whether I can live with that from time to time. But if you go back to customize, I'll change that back to dark. And there's just a few other small differences here. Here you can choose small icons or large icons. Over here you tap on the little icon or the large icon right here in the corner. And then another option is when you choose dark, uh, if you choose dark and your phone is in light mode, it'll just go to light mode. But here you can choose dark and choose either auto or always. And if you choose always, um, it'll always be in dark mode all the time. And that's a new feature too. And I think that's a handy feature, particularly if you like uh, dark mode. And that's a comparison of just the two home screens. Next thing I want to show you is Control Center. So when iOS 26 first came out and you opened Control Center, it was a mess. I mean, it was sort of clear and you saw everything behind it and it was very confusing. But now they've made it much more uh, opaque behind it. And if you notice, there's actually kind of a frosted looking color over here uh, versus over here, which is just sort of a darker gray or almost a black color on the controls. And uh, iOS uh, 26 was just a mess when it first started. But here in Beta 3, they've really cleaned this up. I wouldn't say they've done away with liquid glass by any means, but they have fixed the opacity of Control Center, and that's a good thing. Also, you can go into settings if you want it even darker, and you can go into accessibility, and you can go into display and text size, and turn on reduce transparency. And now when you open it up, it's almost all black. You don't see any of the wallpaper behind it. I actually like seeing a little bit of the wallpaper behind it. So I'll go back in here and I'll turn off reduce transparency. And if you go like that, you get back to where you were. And that's just sort of the subtle differences. They're, they're much closer than they were just a few weeks ago in their look. But this is a much easier to see control center and a much cleaner look. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just a few app comparisons between iOS 18 and iOS 26. We'll start with Photos. If we open the Photos app uh, on each phone, you'll notice there's a little bit of a difference here. I can sort of slide down like that. If you notice when I slide up, I get to Utilities. When I slide up here, that doesn't show up. Uh, I actually have to go choose that, and I actually like the look of iOS 26 much better. The Photos app in iOS 18 to me has just been a mess. You still get some information down here, but if you notice you've got a couple of little arrows here and if you tap on those now you can sort of begin to see what you're looking at and how you want to sort. That doesn't, that never sort of clicked with me. Up here this icon you can tap on it and you get back to the same thing. So it's uh, in a different location than it is here. And for me, I actually think I like it up here a little bit better than I do down here. Subtle difference, not, not a big deal on it. 
But if you notice down here, you've got years, months, and all like that. And you have the same thing down here, but you have kind of a sliding glass button that you can just take and slide over like that and go back and forth like that. And it's just a, a look that Apple is going for that's different than what you have over here. You can slide over like that if you want. So they had a little bit of that sliding effect in photos before, but it's just a sort of a newer look that you have here. And I'll be doing a video on the Photos app soon once the iOS 26 is out because it's just a whole lot better than iOS 18. But that's a comparison of the Photos app. The next comparison I want to show you is just the Files app. If I tap on the Files app here and the Files app here, you'll see they look fairly similar down through here uh, in the Browse section. But you'll notice we've got tags down here. And if I tap on, say, I don't know, purple, you'll see that I've got some folders over here that have the purple tag uh, associated with them. If I tap on purple over here, I actually have purple folders, which is a little bit easier to see in my mind than the little purple circle over here. Same thing if I go green, you know, I've got that folder there. It's actually got green and purple. If I go green over here, I just have some uh, a folder with Word documents in it. But to me, that's the new standout feature. Again, you have sort of that glassy effect when you slide over like this between the three. You can't really slide over here. You have to tap between the three like that. So not a whole lot of difference here, but I do believe that Apple is moving the ball forward with Files app, particularly when it comes to tags. If you go over to iCloud Drive, you can view them this way, you can view them that way. I can also put this in a list over here so that it looks similar. But as you can see, the colored folders have some meaning to them. So that's a little bit easier to see in my mind than just the little purple dots over there. And that's the distinction and the differences in the Files app. Lastly, let's just take a look at the Weather app to see the differences. If I tap on that, you'll see that they come up and it looks a little bit different. It's much darker over here. You have kind of a, a different color background over here, but the sections for the weather look about the same over here. But if you tap on them, we'll go to Wake Forest, you'll see this uh, again, very similar between the two apps, all the information that comes out down through here. So I'm not seeing a big difference here. You'll notice that the icons down here are a little bit darker than they are over here on iOS 18. I think that makes them a little bit easier to see over here, and I think that's a, that's a good thing. Um, of course, you can slide over like that and get to other places that you've uh, stored in your weather app. But those two apps look very similar to me. So you begin to get an idea of how liquid glass fits in with these uh, applications. And it'll be similar among all the other apps, though features may change, but the look will be about like what I've showed you here. You know, I know it's still really early in iOS 26's development cycle, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think iOS 26, at least so far, is an improvement over iOS 18. Okay, that's it for today. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.